know it's drag racing. The, uh, the process was that there would be two cars on the starting line and the next two cars to race would be away back but ready to be pushed up to the starting line. So as soon as the lights went green and the cars in front of you started down the track, your team would push you up to the line. And as that was happening, the car in, directly in front of me, about halfway down the, the track, did a right hand turn and hit the wall. And that was the first death in drag racing in Australia. And that was about 1971. And being in the car, waiting to have my run, seeing that happen, seeing the ambulance, which was stationed at the circuit and spending that time we obviously got out of the car by then and, and pushed our car back to the pits because the meeting was stopped and then hearing an hour later that after the the ambulance took the person to hospital that they had died made me feel vulnerable made me feel that motor racing can be dangerous um, to some degree it's luck to some degree it's preparation uh, and some degree it's attitude. Um, and that's one reason why I'm so pedantic about my procedures, to make sure that the car isn't the cause of an accident. If there's going to be an accident, it's going to be driver error, either on the part of my driver or another driver, but not because something we didn't do caused the car to fail.